Alright, so this is going to be another movie review. This one's called The Last Dragon. Uh, this is a 1985 cult classic from Tristar. It's kind of like Beat Street meets uh, American Ninja. This movie is friggin' weird. Um, the only actor that I, or actress that I recognize is Vanity. Uh, she's pretty hot in this. Uh, yeah, you get to see some of her cleavage, which doesn't exist really, but um, anyway. Yeah, she's she's uh, got the frizzy hair, 1985. She's got the uh, open blouse deal going on. Pretty cool. Um, she's kind of like the um, so she's trying to woo this this dude named uh, Leroy Leroy Brown, and uh, meanwhile there's this tough guy. Uh, the Shogun of Harlem, he calls himself. Show Nuff. S H O apostrophe N U F F or something like that. Um, I'll spell it correctly, the uh, Ebonics version of Show Nuff <laughs> in, in one of the tags. <coughs> uh, this movie is nuts. I mean, it starts out with uh, Leroy Brown eating popcorn with ch chopsticks while watching uh, some kind of uh, um, some kind of uh, cool <laughs> cool movie theater in Harlem or wherever I guess they're in Harlem and uh, he's watching Enter the Ninja while eating popcorn with his chopsticks and show sure enough the six five six foot five um, dude with uh, frizzy hair and uh, Shogun outfit, big uh, shoulder pads, and <laughs> I can't describe show enough. He's he's uh, he's got Converse shoes and he's in a Shogun kind of outfit with with big um, shoulder pads. He just looks absolutely ridiculous. Um, and watching him talk to Leroy Brown. Uh, taunting uh, Leroy Brown is just funny. It's it's just funny as hell. Um, by the way, this was uh, this movie was produced by the uh, founder of Motown, which is kind of interesting. Anyway, so Show Nuff keeps taunting Leroy Brown. Meanwhile, uh, Vanity has a crush on Leroy. Uh, Show Nuff calls him uh, Bruce Leroy. <laughs> Which is kind of funny, and uh, yeah. So Leroy is looking for the master so that he can get the glow. It's like this uh, special power. Uh, once you reach the final level, the Bruce Lee level, then the next step is to get the glow. Uh, it's, it's hella cheesy and corny, and I, I love every minute of it. And um, even. Even the dumb parts where they had the the Cindy Lopner look like uh, doing music videos, uh, I, I could tolerate that. But really, the reason to watch is show enough. And uh, yeah, Leroy. At first, Leroy doesn't uh, want to fight with show enough, but yeah, you can pretty much guess what the ending finale is going to be. Um, Great flick. I, I can't say enough good things about this movie. Um, the music sucks, but uh, who cares? I mean, uh, yeah, it's 1985. What do you expect? Uh, great flick, though. I enjoyed uh, it. It does have a feel kind of like a MTV music video and uh, an American Ninja type Kung Fu moves. Yeah. So um, I don't know. I just I just enjoyed Show Enough. He was the reason to watch. So um, anyway, uh, great flick. I gave him five stars on Netflix, and uh, as, as soon as I saw the beginning, I knew I was gonna love this movie. It's a little long though. It's almost two hours, so you gotta sit through uh, two and a half.
two hours of music video and show enough. Alright, so that's the end of my movie review. Cool, laters.